Welcome back to the Strategic Service YouTube channel. My name is Eric. In today's video, I'm going to actually give you a walkthrough of one of my security patrol cars. I'm going to show you what's in a standard security patrol vehicle, and that's it. So without further ado, let's go walk outside and take a look. So welcome inside a 2013 Ford Police Interceptor sedan, also known as a Ford Taurus. So let's talk about what's inside this thing. Over here, we just have our standard spotlight. In case you're wondering, this is for lighting up dark environments, for patrolling at night, and I need to illuminate a particular area, whether it's a parking garage, an alley, wooded location. It's also helpful in finding house numbers when I'm looking for a particular address. This particular light is LED. It's a lot more bright than the old incandescent bulbs. In the front window, there's a dash and two visor mounted warning lights. As you make your way through the dash, there's really no difference between this and any other old Taurus, other than the fact that this has a column shifter rather than a shifter in the center console. Speaking of center console, there isn't one because it's replaced by this equipment stack. So first things first, here we have a Panasonic Toughbook laptop. This is used with our electronic reporting software and our computer-aided dispatching. Some might refer to this as an MDT or a mobile data terminal. This allows us to share information between other units in our dispatch center, as well as, like I said, completing incident reports and researching information. Down from there is a siren and light controller. Now our cars don't have the siren activated, but we use this for the light controller function. You control the lights mainly with this slide switch. It has three settings. One, two, and three. Slide one unlocks the traffic advisor function of the rear warning light bar. So once that's in slide one, I can hit these different buttons, left, right, and center. Slide two makes the rear warning light bar flash. And slide three adds in the front warning flash. And then all the way left is to off. All these other siren controls are inactive. They don't do anything. And then this is just a cup holder. Here, I have my mobile data air card. This is what supplies mobile data to the in-car laptop. Nothing special about that. This is something anyone can get from Verizon Wireless. Over here in the left driver door, I just keep a pack of nitro gloves. Over on the turn signal indicator on the left side of the steering wheel is where I keep my KN95 respirator mask. And over in the passenger door is where I keep all my tools for tire repair. Whether for me or if I'm helping someone on the side of the road change a tire, I've got tire plugs and different tools to help out the average flat tire. Then up here in the center of the roof, is an interior light. It has two modes. One is white and the other is red. You use the red function at night to light up the inside of the car because it's a lot easier on the eyes and doesn't destroy your night vision. And then like most people do, I just stick random things up in the light, such as access cards, gas cards, stuff like that. Over in the passenger seat, I have my ball cap and my cold weather jacket. In the back seat, I have an equipment bag which just has different things like my rain jacket, spear ammunition, some communications equipment, and some random things like that. And then just laying in the back seat is my Stetson uniform hat. You'll notice it has a rain cover on it. That's because that's really the only time I wear it is in the rain. It does a good job of keeping you dry. And then also here in the back seat, I just keep a spare vest with soft trauma plates. This is used either in the event that I'm working in an administrative capacity and don't have a concealable vest on that day and then get involved in some sort of incident. Or if while I'm working, we become involved in an active shooter situation and then I'll throw this on anyway for added protection. And then I just got a bunch of junk in the trunk. So there's nothing to show you in there other than a medical trauma kit that we carry into emergencies. And that's it, man. So if you enjoy watching my content, please feel free to like and subscribe, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, good or bad, and I'll catch you in the next video.